I hope you enjoy your meal. We are going to start the following workshop in the afternoon. With great honor, we would like to introduce the speaker, uh, Dr. Xin Chen Ye, Deputy Minister, Environmental Protection Administration, Executive Yuan. And here comes the topic, how can environmental education play a key role in sustainable development? Let's welcome Dr. Ye. Uh, as Professor Zhu uh, is not uh, present yet, so um, I'll uh, speak first. Uh, this afternoon, uh, uh, at first, um, it's an honor to have an uh, opportunity to speak here. Uh, as uh, uh, the topic of this session uh, is environmental opportunities. Uh, I'm from uh, National Taiwan Normal University and I worked as a professor in the Institute of Environmental Education. Uh, but actually, uh, in the past, I graduated from the Institute of Environmental Engineering and National Taiwan University. Uh, I was the student of a Professor Chang. Uh, so um, I think uh, now I'm working uh, as a, a government official in our EPA. And uh, EPA is in charge of Environmental Education Act in Taiwan. Um, so, uh, I decided to uh, speak something about environmental education uh, and uh, to see how it plays a, a critical role in sustainable, uh, sustainable development. So, uh, the term environmental education, for most of the people, uh, most of us think, well, I understand environmental education uh, because, uh, well, everything about the environment uh, is environmental education. Yeah, it's right. But for most of us, I mean scholars, uh, when people think about environment, environmental education, the term environmental engineering will show. Uh, because for us, environmental problems should be solved by some uh, technical or engineering approaches. But actually, uh, environmental education is a more uh, general term. It is academic terms or uh, it's a common sense. Yes, it's also common sense. It's a government policy, yes, uh, in Taiwan. Uh, about two years ago, we just had our Environmental Education Act passed. Yeah, it's also a global value. Uh, so, environmental education, why it is so important? In Taiwan, uh, for more than two decades, when we think of environmental education, we will see this. What's that? That's recycling. Everybody knows that. In our elementary schools, in uh, mid schools, uh, students were uh, trained to recycle everything every day. So that's uh, you know um, from the statistics, 80% of people will think recycling can present environmental education. And that's a well, that's a campus landscape. So. In addition to recycling and the campus landscape, what else? That's something that we should think about. But in fact, everything is environmental education. Uh, in the area of education, we have a, we have a, a, a sentence. It says, all education is environment, environmental education. It means that if this kind of education is for supporting the environment, it is environmental education. So everything is about the environment. Uh, by the definition uh, defined uh, well, uh, several decades ago, uh, we, we can see the, the key terms. That's a learning process about to increase people's knowledge and awareness, not just knowledge, but also awareness. And uh, it's trying to solve environmental problems to face the challenges. So it's about attitudes, motivations, commitments, and make, make decisions. And this is, a, this is a key term. We need to make informed decisions, not just make decisions. And uh, we need to take responsible action. So everything related to these terms should be uh, in, in, uh, in the scope of environmental education. So not just about natural science, not just about engineering, it's about everything. 
Uh, the term environment education was first mentioned in the IUCN Paris meetings, that's a, well, that's a 1948, uh, several decades ago. And uh, you can see the stories. And uh, that's about 40 years ago, uh, in a meeting, in a seminar, uh, about school, school's curricula in the United States, we can see that the content of environment education include social terms, economic terms, and something about natural uh, sciences, and uh, something else. For environment education, originally, we, we, we refer to teaching in environment. So uh, we go outdoors to teach students uh, their, uh, uh, what is the name of the leaves, of the trees, of the flowers. That's a teaching in environment. And the secondly, teaching about the environment. We can do the uh, educational process in classrooms, but we teach about the environment. Uh, nowadays, we should, uh, in, we should interpret uh, environment education as a teaching for the environment. So everything for environment should be environment education. Okay, so uh, later, uh, in a very great charter, uh, environment education uh, was defined in several uh, perspec perspectives, including awareness, knowledge, attitude, skills, in variation, ability, and participation in Taiwan, in our educational systems. Also, we have uh, diversified systems, very complicated systems now, but it actually, we emphasize knowledge. Maybe we give it uh, over 80% of weight. Uh, but uh, for environment education, we emphasize knowledge, but also awareness, attitude, skills, evaluation, ability, and participation. So it's a very broad and a very comprehensive area. If we classify environment education by the recipient, uh, we can call it formal education and a non-formal education. So uh, uh, that's a preschool education and a school education. Non-formal, we can say that that's a social education. Uh, yesterday, we just have uh, we just had a press release yesterday uh, to uh, uh, tell uh, our media uh, a result of a study uh, sponsored by EPA. Uh, we uh, sent out questionnaires to uh, over 11,000 people in Taiwan uh, to understand their environmental literacy. And we find that uh, for school students and the university students, uh, the university students uh, got the worse scores than elementary school students. <laughs> and uh, we also find that for adults, adults got the worse scores than students. So we can identify that maybe we should uh, uh, emphasize more uh, to uh, social environment education, not just in the schools and the universities. And uh, uh, that's, a, that's a environment education changing with time. Uh, now, why, uh, why we emphasize the role of environment education in sustainable development? Because now, we switch a term from ED, environmental education, to ESD, that's in environmental for sustainable development. That's, that's a current version of environmental education. So, uh, I would like to introduce a little bit about ESD. That's an upgraded version of EED. Actually, um, it was uh, mentioned uh, in the 1987 United Nations Assembly. And uh, we can also find in the Agenda 21, in Chapter 36, uh, passed by a real uh, summit in 1992. Four major working aspects include improving basic education. So improving basic education means the society will become more sustainable. 
and uh, reorient existing education. So that's a real meaning of educational reform. Uh, we, we just not, uh, they, they, they don't mention uh, the technical parts of, of educational uh, techniques or institutions, but to think about the objectives or the purpose of education. And also uh, to develop public understanding and awareness and also training, especially emphasize training, train the trainers. So for uh, uh, professionals, especially school teachers, professors, uh, government officials, they need to be trained every year so that they can understand the latest version of, a, uh, of a sustainable development and understand the trend of the, of the world. And the scope and the basic characteristics of ESD, uh, we can see that uh, it's, a broad, uh, it's both broader than environment education. Uh, these topics are some examples. For example, like globalization, trade and the development, poverty alleviation, sustainable consumption and production, social quality, uh, social equity, and the gender perspectives and understanding of different cultures. So we can see that it does not mean just uh, environmental science education. It means uh, education for the environment and uh, its scopes, uh, its aspects are, are quite broad. And uh, that's a uh, UN decade of environmental education, uh, decade of education for sustainable development uh, from 2005 to 2014. It's a program uh, led by uh, UNESCO. And for the terms, uh, if we look back to the uh, World Summit on Sustainable Development uh, held in the year of 2002 in South Africa, the five topics include water, energy, health, agriculture, and the biodiversity. And for the Rio Plus 20 just held last year, the, main, the two major themes include green economy and the institutional framework. Green economy means many things. We just, uh, we just try to uh, reform the economy and uh, try to uh, escape from a uh, very low price uh, fossil fuel. And uh, these critical issues also uh, defined in Rio Plus 20 including jobs, energy, cities, food, water, oceans, and the disasters. So it means uh, uh, different kinds of things. So that's environmental education in Taiwan. Uh, these photos show that the President Ma and the Vice President Wu attended uh, educational environmental education lesson uh, two years ago. So uh, that's uh, in our Environmental Education Act. We, we say that it's a civil educational process uh, through which the citizen can understand the ethical issues about knowledge, attitude, skills, and the value for environmental protection so that our citizen will take action. So we emphasize take action and the take a responsible action and environment, environmental friendly action. In brief, because, well, if we look at the, the laws, uh, it's too complicated. We, if we try to uh, speak that in brief, we, we will say that the goal and the, the approaches of uh, environmental education is try to uh, promote a nationwide environmental education for everyone and to try to uh, improve environmental literacy of a general citizen so that our country can go uh, in a more sustainable way. And that's the five key elements of the environmental education, also for ESD. Uh, passion, content, education, integration, and the communication. So that we, uh, for everyone uh, and uh, for different uh, government departments, uh, for different um, universities uh, or professionals, they can find uh, uh, something that they can do, uh, 
maybe in different aspects. And uh, we do have uh, many kinds of activities uh, developed, developed and held in these years. For example, that's the school kids attend the environmental education activities. And that's something uh, very special, very special things uh, in our environmental education act. It means that our, for every government officials, uh, they should attend at least four hours of environmental education classes, activities, every year. So these photos show that our government officials attended the environmental education classes. So from, uh, from the, uh, every government officials, including our president and the vice president, and that says for uh, last year, uh, President Ma attended another class. And uh, we are going to, uh, we, we are actually, we are planning uh, his class for this year now. So, in brief, uh, we can improve the environmental literacy of our citizens through practical environmental education material, effective communication, active educational processes qualified teachers, and uh, we also have some certificated places. So that's uh, environmental literacy now. Actually, that's uh, the, the scores for knowledge, attitude, and actions just announced yesterday. Uh, that's uh, for our uh, general public, that's uh, the scores. And uh, we think that through environmental education, we will improve their literacy, maybe in several years, uh, we can have a knowledge, attitude, actions improve. So, environmental education should be interpreted as environment education for sustainable development in terms of both scope and content. Environmentally literate systems, which is very important because they can promise more advanced environmental policies and effective communication. Uh, as you must know, in Taiwan now, uh, when the government has done something, uh, especially uh, if uh, the policy is about to increase the prices of anything, uh, many people will think well, it's a bad policy. But sometimes uh, we want to increase the price of, for example, like energy or water, we try to have the market more uh, normal or to improve the efficiency of the market. But for the general public, they, they think that, well, they need to pay more. But if we can, we can uh, have our uh, general public educated to learn some of the key issues of the, of the environment and to understand why we need to uh, have everything uh, settled, settled uh, in the um, most appropriate way. Maybe some people will think, well, also I need to pay more, but I think, but I understand uh, it is uh, good for all of the society, and uh, finally we will pay less. Uh, it need to be, it, it should be, uh, it sh um, we, we need to uh, go through some educational processes so that our citizens can uh, become more environmentally literate. So uh, we have a more advanced environmental policies and uh, through effective communication. The conclusion is that environmental education plays a key role for a country toward sustainable development because advanced environmental policies with successful civil participation led to better opportunities for sustainable development. And uh, you may know that uh, sometimes uh, we are promoting carbon reduction, uh, energy saving. Uh, we can have um, many kinds of uh, technologies, but uh, from the research, we understand only behavior change can save about 40% of the energy. So you must know that the education actually is a more uh, is the most economical way to improve everything. Mind, attitude, and the behavior change. 
of the government officials and the general public may cause systematic change of the society. Sustainable development means big and uh, systematic change, not just a little change. So uh, my conclusion is that uh, we have uh, now we have the Environment Education Act. I think it's a beginning. Maybe uh, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we can see how the country changed because of environmental education. And uh, we can expect that uh, our country will go uh, towards a more sustainable way. Thank you very much. Thank you.